So far, I have told you how I made $70,000 with my print on demand business. And I have told you why I stopped doing print on demand, why I quit that business. But what I haven't yet told you is how I got into the business. Why did I start print on demand and, and, and what were the steps I took to actually gain the knowledge to start print on demand? What did I do when I didn't really know anything about print on demand and when I was in a very similar situation to probably most of you right now. So what were my steps and what, what did I do? Well, it all started in 2013 and it's a really, really interesting story. So definitely stick around. And as well as that, I'm going to be sharing with you my first ever successful niche that I did and exactly how much it made me down to the last cent. So that's going to be really, really cool. Now, before we start this video, I want to announce a really cool giveaway slash competition slash I don't really know what it's called that I want to do for you, all of my viewers. So definitely watch this next few minutes and then I promise you we are going to get started with the video on how I got started with my print on demand business. So what is this giveaway that I'm going to be doing? Well, the giveaway is going to be basically, I'm not giving you anything, like I'm not giving you a physical product, but what I thought I would do was do a full overhaul of your Teespring or print on demand business. What I mean by that is I will do, so if you remember correctly, I reviewed everyone's t-shirt designs on Instagram, you sent me your messages and I got so many messages. I'm still getting tons of messages every single day. So it's crazy, but I basically want to do that again, except I want to do something a lot more in depth, but for one individual. So what this competition is going to be is I'm going to review up to five links for you. And what does that mean? Well, that means basically your submission, right? It's going to be something like this. You'll send me a link to your storefront. You'll send me two links to two separate t-shirts. Maybe you'll send me, send me one link to one of your social media pages, and then you'll send me another link to your Facebook ads that you tried and didn't work, maybe it did work, right? And what I will do is I will create a full in-depth video, right? Properly in-depth video just for you, right? Going through your entire business, going through every single page, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, right? And that is what I thought I could do as a giveaway. Now, there are three things you have to do to enter. And before I tell you those three things, I just have to say, if you are entering, you have to be okay with me making this video public on YouTube, which is probably fine anyways, because if your design is public, then you own the copyright, so you don't have to worry about anyone stealing your designs. But the reason I say this is because that is how I'm going to deliver this. I'm going to give it to you by posting it on YouTube, and then you can watch the video and pretty much see how you can improve your business or what's wrong with your business. And if it does really well, and if this video does really well, then I will probably do more of these, more of these giveaway competition type things. So what are the three things you have to do to be in for a chance of winning? Well, the first thing you have to do is clearly subscribe to this channel, okay? So I know that if I get 100 comments, I'm not going to, but if I get 100 comments, I can see my analytics and I can see if I got 100 subscribers from this video. So the first thing you have to do is subscribe to this channel. The second thing you have to do is leave a comment down below and that's how I'm going to actually pick someone. So leave a comment down below. You can say anything you want, good, bad, negative, not negative, constructive criticism, whatever you want, right? Anything. And the third thing I ask, and this is not a very difficult one, is just watch this video all the way through. So if this video is 10, 15, 20 minutes long, just watch this video all the way through. That's the only thing, there's the only three things I really ask. And if you don't feel like you have the time to watch this video the whole way through, then just put it on in the background and get back doing what you're doing. But it's gonna be a really, really interesting video and I know you're gonna like it. And there's gonna be a lot of value in how I started my print on demand business because I was in the same situation as a lot of you. So um, yeah, those are the three things. That is the end of the competition announcement, I should say. The winner will be uh, picked next week and I'll make the video next week for the winner, providing this video actually gets some submissions. Um, and yeah, let's get cracking on straight with the uh, story of how I started my print on demand business back in 2013. Let's go into it. So I've written my uh, my story out because it's just so much easier to type your story and then I'm gonna go off that because I don't know, I didn't wanna miss anything out. Back in 2013, November time, 2013, I was in on my gap year, right? I was on my gap year, I was in Israel, right? 
just doing whatever, okay? And I decided to come home for a couple of days, see the family, I think it was my mum's birthday at the time. Well, no, my mum's birthday is December, I know that. So maybe it was my dad's birthday, whatever. I decided to come home, see the family for a bit. And around November time, so that's when I came home, I was, I, I came into the house, whatever, and over the period of time I was there, I think it was a couple of days, like five, six days, I was talking to Josh, and you know Josh, Josh is my brother, my business partner in Amazon FBA. I was talking to him, and this is generally how my businesses seems to start. He gives me an idea, I do it, I make a boatload of money, and he gets annoyed that he didn't do it. Um, so I was talking to Josh, and he was telling me about a guy called Donald Wilson, or Don Wilson, and Ben Adkins. Okay, I'd never heard of these people before, I'd never done anything internet marketing related before in my entire life. So. This was all new to me, but he was telling me he was watching really interesting videos and I should give it a go, I should watch them. So I watched a few webinars from this guy called Ben Atkins, um, who worked alongside Donald Wilson, if I remember correctly. This is, we're going back a few years here. Um, and they were basically talking about print on demand, they were talking about Facebook advertising, they were talking about Teespring, and how you could combine the two of them and make a ton of money basically. And again, at this point, I had pretty much only done eBay and sold in school. I'd never done any internet marketing, any Facebook ads, and nothing like that. This was all completely new to me. I was oblivious to this entire side of the internet. But I thought, you know what? This is really interesting. So I bought his course, right? Donald Wilson had a course back then. It was the first ever course that I bought online. It was called Facebook Ads Cracked, I think, or Facebook Ads Cracked Reloaded. Ah, oh, it, it was, it, I think it was called that. I don't even know if it's a course anymore. I don't think you can buy it, but it, it, the information is not relevant anymore. Um, it's so old. But basically, it, it was a brilliant, brilliant course. And I bought that back then as my first course. And I watched every single video. I took notes. I literally did all the tasks. I properly, properly studied what it was I had to do. I'm not actually sure where Donald Wilson or Ben Adkins is at the moment. I know Donald Wilson started a... Uh, a, a print-on-demand company like Teespring actually called Gearbubble, but I don't, I don't actually know. I haven't heard from them in a long time. Not that I was speaking to them, but I, I haven't um, heard much from them in a while. But I'm, I'm sure they're doing absolutely fine. Like, I have no worries in my mind. But anyway, so back to the story. I went. I continued my gap year. I went back, flew back, and I continued on with my gap year. Except this time, I was watching this course, taking in all the training, and realizing that this is something I really wanted to do. I, once I finished the course, I was totally dumbstruck. Like I was like, I didn't even realize this was possible. Making this kind of money was possible. And I knew I had to take action incredibly fast because one of the biggest things in the course was they said that this particular tactic, this particular method won't last very long. And it didn't. It lasted a few months and I got in really, really late. So I only really got like a month, maybe a bit more, maybe five, six weeks of the crux of this tactic and method. So I knew I had to get into it straight away. And I made a very, very difficult decision of leaving my gap year, coming straight back home and getting cracking on with this business. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, beginning of January, I wanna say, yeah. Uh, either right at the end of December or very early January is when I ended my gap year and I came back home and I got started basically. I did everything they told me to do and I'm gonna tell you exactly what that was. The idea he was putting forward in his course was to target people on Facebook, so a Facebook ad, targeting people's surnames. Like my surname is Morris, right? So you make an ad targeting someone's surname, it's going to be the most unbelievably targeted ad you'll ever see in your entire life. And what he was suggesting was to create t-shirts, for example, Team Morris, right? It's a t-shirt with your own name on it. You're gonna stop, you're gonna look, you're probably gonna like, share, and potentially buy. So he was saying to make t-shirts with people's surnames on and then target people surnames, right? So the way to do this was there was a program back in the day, you can't do it anymore, but there was a program back in the day where you could download a uh, an audience for Facebook ads. So you can download a specific audience by name. So I could download all the Phillips, I could download all the Larsons, I could download all the Morrises, I could download all the Taylors, right? Into their each their own individual audiences. These audiences were never more than like a hundred thousand people because again there's not that many, right, with the same name. And it was always the surname, remember it had to be the surname. 
And what he basically said is download the audience and then upload it back to Facebook as a custom audience and then make an ad targeting this t-shirt that says Team Taylor to all the Taylor people, right? And the comments are going to be like, oh my gosh, are we related? They've all got the same name Taylor. This is amazing. And then tagging all the family members. These, 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 these ads went viral. They, 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 oh my God, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. People would tag their entire family being like, you've got to buy this shirt. We've all got to buy this shirt. And sales, clicks and shares and comments cost pennies and sales cost less than a dollar. So to get one sale where I was making, I think it was like 12 to $15 or probably a bit less, but it was only costing me like $1 to actually acquire that sale. And it was, it was just a ridiculous, ridiculous time. I did this with all the really, really popular names. But as I said, I got into the game so late and unfortunately I only really got a couple of weeks to take advantage of this before um, the idea of being able to target people by names was outcasted by Facebook. They said, this is too targeted. You're making too much money from this. Uh, your ads are too cheap because people like it too much. There was a huge wasp there, um, bee, queen, whatever. Um, and they said, no more, we are stopping this. And anyone who continued to do it would get their Facebook ads account banned. And basically you just couldn't do it anymore. But the few weeks that I did it, I think it was something like five or six weeks. I don't remember exactly because we're talking years and years ago, but I did work it out the numbers. And on my spreadsheet, it took me ages to work out these numbers because I've created tons of designs, but I worked out that I made $36,668.16 from this tactic, which was a ridiculous amount of money for, a eight, for an 18 year old kid well, I had actually turned 19 during this time, but for an 18, 19 year old kid who had never made that much money in their life, had only sold things on eBay and in school to suddenly within five weeks get just under $40,000. It was like my mind was just going crazy. Unfortunately, I did very stupid things with that money and I went on crazy spending binges, which I probably shouldn't have done. I should have invested it. But at that point, I wasn't so as into business as I should have been. But anyway, that really kickstarted my print on demand career. I could say career. No, it's not a career. I only did it for like three months. My print on demand journey. Let's say journey. Okay. From there, I used the knowledge that I had learned from the course about Facebook. And then, I mean, that knowledge wasn't going to be enough because now that everything had changed, I learned more things about Facebook. I read tons of books. I, I read articles. I watched more courses. Uh, I mean, there weren't that many YouTube videos at the time on this topic when I was doing it, but I watched whatever there was. And I basically just absorbed as much as I could and continued cracking on with new designs. My next most popular niche after the name. So I, I had a few fails, obviously, as you do. But then my ne me next most popular one was targeting job titles, targeting different job titles, electrician, um, bartenders, plumbers. My most popular um, job title was actually a bartender. I made tons of t-shirts of bartenders and made thousands from that. But that was my next thing that I did with t-shirts. It was because at this point I had a lot more money, even though I spent a lot of it, I had a lot more money. So any idea that came into my head, I just went and I did it and I did it and I did it. So I know I was blessed with the, 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 the fact that I was able to do this special targeting, which doesn't exist anymore. In fact, actually it does kind of exist. A lot of people do still do it. They just do it in a different way. They will say team, whatever your name is, and then you can input your name and get a custom t-shirt. It's not as popular, but it still kind of works. But anyway, I know I was, I was blessed with that, but the point of the matter is I still did a ton of research and I still got cracking on. And the amount of work involved in doing this was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've deleted half the pages now, but I had hundreds of pages on Facebook. Of, you know, the pages that you make on Facebook for individual niches. I had hundreds because I had a different page for every single t-shirt that I would make. So it was ridiculous. And some of these pages had 20, 30, 40,000 fans on it. And I have since deleted all those pages, which you're probably thinking, why the hell did you do that? And now that I think about it, I have no idea. Like, I don't know what was going over my head. I just thought I'm never gonna go into this business again. So I'll clean up my Facebook and I deleted those pages, which I probably shouldn't have. Um, but like I said, it, it was a lot of work. So this business is a lot of work and Basically, just from there, right, I just kept testing and I tested and I tested. So, I mean, if you think about the whole story, November 2013, I sat there watching a course, not really knowing anything at all. And then January, I kickstarted this business because I did a whole research November, December. January, I kickstarted the business, January, February time. And I, um, 
And yeah, I mean, it's history, isn't it? I watched webinars, I watched YouTube, I did research, I did everything like that. And as well as doing all the research, I tested. I tested with thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars because I wanted to know what worked and what didn't work. And I mean, I don't want to keep this video dragging on for no reason at all, but that is technically how I started my print on demand business. It's a, I mean, look, I think it's a pretty good story. Um, you might hate it, but please don't hate it. Um, I thought it was going to be somewhat interesting and also t to take away from this story, what you could potentially take away is if you are starting out, if you are like me back in 2013, then take a course, they're good. And if you can't find a course, I, I, I have tried searching for them, I can't find them. I will hopefully one day make one, but read books, read articles, watch YouTube videos, because there's tons of YouTube videos now, and ask advice if you need to ask advice. Look, people might not get back to you, I might not get back to you, but there's no harm in asking, you never know what's gonna happen. So maybe one day if someone asks me for some sort of advice, I'll turn that question into a video. So, that is what you can take away from this video in terms of just do the research and test, 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 and persevere, right? Keep trying, because I had tons of failure, failures when it came to making t-shirts, but I just kept trying until like I got bored of it and I moved on to Amazon. But like, just keep trying. And I mean, that's kind of all I wanted to say in this video. I'm gonna end with just reminding you about the competition. If you wanna join the competition, you gotta leave a comment down below. You gotta uh, subscribe to this video. And please, I mean, if you've got this far, you have watched the video the whole way through, so you've automatically entered that way. Um, I just want to say thank you so, so much. The competition is going to be truly incredible. I'm very excited to basically break down one of your entire print-on-demand businesses or whatever you have with print-on-demand. If it's just a few t-shirts and a storefront and a social media page, that's absolutely fine, right? You don't need to have this whole big business for me to break down. Whatever you have, you still are in for a chance of winning. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you next week for more videos and hopefully the actual results of the competition. And uh, yeah, 